is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom from the Amazon exclusive Battle Across Time 2 pack. We have the Maximal Grimlock. Oh my goodness, this figure actually turned out great. I keep saying that because I judge the promo picks way too quickly. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not going to like this Grimlock. Look at him. But then when you get him in hand... Oh my goodness, I, I, I am pleasantly surprised at how well it turned out. Uh, the white plastic and even the white paint isn't as atrocious as I thought it would be based on the promo pics. The gray bits came out great. That black uh, paint on the dino head, we'll see more of that in alt mode, came out really nicely. Uh, the bronze plastic, I should say, not gold, the bronze plastic came out really beautifully on this copy of the figure and look at this head sculpt this is an amazing head sculpt and again the promo pictures did not do this figure justice it's a nice metallic green paint that they have put on those eyes and just blown away by the sculpt look how amazing that grimlock head sculpt is it doesn't get any better than that, folks. I just really like it. If you're wondering about mold degradation, the figure does not show any of that. All the joints are still tight. It feels like this was first production, uh, first production version of this mold. Obviously, Dinobot is the first version, but look how tight the joints are. Not a single floppy joint on his body. He has the sword, unpainted, it's done in white plastic, doesn't really matter. I, I think it still looks great. And he's got his spinning rotor melee. And even that, that peg is pretty tight. Look at that. And again, I always say you got to nail the repaint. You got to nail the colors. You got to nail the execution and all that for this, for a repaint to actually work. And... I'm glad, I'm happy to be proven wrong. I really didn't expect much from this figure. In case you didn't already know, Grimlock is to be packed in a two-pack, Battle Across Time 2-pack, which is an Amazon exclusive with the Earth Mode Deluxe Class Mirage. It should ship around November 1. That's at least the date on the Amazon uh, pre-order site. And if, again, you didn't already know, Grimlock is a redeco of the i guess the beast wars kingdom uh dinobot it's the same mold same weapons the big change obviously is the paint of the plastic the new paint apps and that head sculpt the head is a little smaller um you're probably thinking you're getting less uh, with this figure than this but that head sculpt is just absolutely glorious i mean for a grimlock head sculpt i think you're getting your money's worth just by getting this repaint. And just for fun, if you wanted to know the inspiration of Grimlock, where that character came from, this is the G1 Dinobot Grimlock. He also transforms into a dinosaur, a T-Rex. Uh, that's the head sculpt. That's where the head sculpt came from. And you can see the inspiration where the similarities lie. And so some final thoughts on this new Grimlock uh, from Kingdom, or the Beast Wars maximal grimlock uh, from the kingdom line well if you weren't happy with the dinobot figure from the kingdom line you're not gonna be happy with this figure if you were on the other hand you're gonna love this figure because hasbro and takara tomi they nailed this repaint the alt mode yeah it, <laughs> it still leaves a lot to be desired a lot of aspects it, it's truly an homage to the 90s toy but they could have tweaked this here and there and all that but uh this is what we get this is the mold we get and i think they did a fantastic job just repainting it into maximal grimlock if you want to know the transformation steps for this figure it is exactly the same as the dinobot figure from kingdom line i show it off in detail in my dinobot review i'll put a link in the description box below do check that review out i'm giving the figure a nine out of ten let me know in the comment section what you thought of this new Kingdom Grimlock. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.